Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we're going to be revisiting an add-on that I checked out a few weeks ago called Pushback Recorder. Now we know there's a ton of pushback uh, utilities out there right now that are all fantastic. Pushback Helper uh, probably be at the top of the list there uh, with all of its functionality and constant development um, and was definitely my um, go-to until I stumbled across Pushback Recorder. Um, shortly after my previous video, I had the opportunity to start working and speaking with the developer of Pushback Recorder and even got to collaborate a little bit by doing some recordings to add some audio um, to the uh, software to sort of bring a little bit more immersion to the simulator. So that was kind of fun. Um, Pushback Recorder has three primary functions. First off is this your manual pushbacks, right? Um, the same thing that Pushback Helper does and um, Pushback Zoomer, I think it was. You know, they all just, you know, you tell it what direction, steer left, steer right, etc. cetera. Um, now, the real drag behind all of those, though, Pushback Helper and Pushback Zoomer and the Pushback Services one or Ground Services, um, the, the only real drawback is in order to get an accurate pushback, you have to do it from the external view. And that really, for me, I'm all about immersion when it comes to flight simulation, and especially being a content creator, I really try to keep that, that immersion as high as I can uh, with what's available to us. What Pushback Recorder allows you to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is either now you can select a um, from a predetermined uh, or pre-created uh, templates on how you want the aircraft to be turned and, and maneuvered, or you can actually record your own pushback um, which has pros and cons. So with the recording of the pushback, let's talk about the cons. Let's get those out of the way. The biggest con, really, it's only one, if you really think about it, is that it's location specific. And when I say location specific, I mean literally location specific. So right now we're sitting at gate uh, A22 over at JFK. Um, the only place, if, if I were to record a template for this location, the only place I could use that recording is at gate A22 at JFK. Um, so that is the drag there. Now I'm, I've reached out to the developer again. I asked if there's any way to, you know, change this to where we can sort of create our own templates versus uh, location specific. Now as a content creator, I still do like this functionality because what I'll do is I'll start the sim like you guys can see here. <clears throat> Excuse me, something in my throat. I'll start the sim as you guys can see here. I'll leave the aircraft cold and dark. I don't care about this part. I'll record a pushback and then I'll restart the flight, you know, just literally hit escape and restart. And uh, then when I do the reload, I go through the whole startup process and everything like that. And then when I go to get to the pushback, I have that recording ready to go for me. And it allows me to do things like wing views and, and uh, you know, the engine views and things like that while the aircraft is being pushed back. So it's got pros and cons to it. It really does. Now with the templates, the templates are nice because anybody can use them. You can use them anywhere. The The trick is, is that, and well, both trick and understanding is you have to understand that, for example, um, you have two different turn methods, whether it's going to be 75 degrees or uh, 90 degrees. There's also a 180 degree option, but I believe that one is still under development. Um, that one may still have some bugs. I'll have to, um, I'll have to get back with the developer on that. Um, but uh, the 90 and 75 degrees is going to be based on the aircraft's current position. And the reason why I want to point that out right out of the gate is if you look at the aircraft here, okay, and this is like, I don't know who parked this at plane, but you know, uh, he should probably, you know, <laughs> go take a test, if you know what I mean, because um, he was on something. Um, but uh, anyway, so if we were to go 90 degrees from here, the aircraft would back out, turn a solid 90, and which means we're going to actually be pointed more like the tail's going to be over here going like this, right? It's not going to be true 90 from this angle. From this angle, 90 degrees would pretty be pretty close to the taxiway you'd still be off a little bit so there's going to be there's going to be you know gives and takes based on which selection you use so i'm going to show you guys how to do all three steps today i'm going to show you how to record a pushback the advantages of a playing a pushback we're going to take a look at a template so you guys get an idea on how they work now the thing i want you guys to understand is this software is in very early development the developer is working very very hard on it again i speak to him almost every day now um and he's just constantly on it. And so there are going to be bugs. There are going to be weird behaviors that happen at random. Um, and that's just, you know, 
no different than anything else in Microsoft Flight Simulator. You know, it, the, the simulator itself is an infant, so, you know, just be patient. But uh, I think you guys are really going to like some of this functionality. So without further ado and any more yapping from me, let's check this out. First one I want to show you guys that I think is going to be the most beneficial to the majority of viewers is going to be the, a template. So let's, we're going to go to auto pushback. We don't want to control the pushback, right? And then we're going to go to planned pushback. And judging by your distances, again, you have long, medium, and short. I'm gonna go ahead and give medium a shot, see how we get, and then I want the tail to go that way. So we're gonna do a 90 degree left. The left and right is gonna be from a nose on aspect as you're seeing here, okay? So you can see the tail going to the left, tail going right. All right, so let's go 90 degree left. You can see that the file has been loaded. And so now we're just gonna hit toggle pushback. Cockpit ground, request received, tug is on its way. Did you guys hear that beautiful voice? Does it sound familiar? I'm going to be famous one day. I swear it. I just, I was born to be an actor. Right? No? Okay. All right. Check complete. All doors, hatches are closed and sealed. We are ready to connect. All right, Captain. Toe is connected. Bypass pin is inserted. And we are ready to get you out of here. Go ahead and release that parking brake for me. All right, commencing pushback, and you may start your engines when ready, Captain. Now, one of the caveats I want to warn you guys about right now is at the current release, you want to make sure you hit the parking brake pretty quick. Otherwise, on sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but the nose may continue to be pushed over. So we're going to get ready to hit that parking brake. But it's, okay, Captain, you're see, you can see it sliding. But it actually didn't do it too bad. It stopped pretty quick on that one. So, yeah, never mind. Just hit parking brake. Ground to cockpit. Tug is disconnected. Bypass pin has been removed. Have a safe flight. We'll see you next time, Captain. All right. And there's a perfect example of the pushback recorder using the pushback template. And you can see that once it's complete, it reset itself uh, back to where it was when we started. So really handy and again you've got quite a few different uh, options to choose from here um, again long medium short and let's go ahead and see how we did on the and you see what I mean about the the angle not being quite right and that's because of the way we were lined up at the jetway okay we were lined up pretty um, off center here so I think it had we been on center it would have been closer to more what we were looking for but even then that's still you know I don't do pushbacks that well myself when I'm doing it manually so half the time I miss the line by a mile <laughs> but um, anyway so you have the different uh, distances and then the different variations of pushback available to you right out of the gate and again these are things that are still in development the developer is still working on refining some of these um, I don't know if he has plans to add more I don't know yet I haven't really discussed that yet um, but uh, he is very receptive and very responsive uh, with the bugs and issues that I have pointed out. So let's go ahead and move on to the next segment where I show you guys the advantage of doing a recorded pushback. All right, so now we are sitting at a very odd uh, George Bush um, jetway in Houston, uh, but uh, nevertheless, it should work the same. So again, we're gonna bring up our pushback recorder and let's, let me switch views here. There we go. Control the camera. Let's say we want to do a pushback out here. Okay. So this is where, unfortunately, the gate, again, is very specific. You have to be specific about where you're at. Um, with that being said, I didn't take note of what gate I'm at, but this is just for testing. So we're going to go to record a pushback. And then we're, you can see I've already done a few tests here. So we're just going to call this uh, test three, I guess. All right, and from here, we're just gonna, we can either um, toggle the pushback from here, or you can use your arrow keys you can see down here, which is what I'm gonna do. Now, you do wanna keep this window as the focus, meaning that you wanna click on it and then execute your command. So I've clicked in the window, now I'm hitting my down arrow. And what we can do is turn the tooltips on. You can turn the tooltips on and off from here. You can see the tug rolling up there. clicked back in here. You 
when doing a recording or a manual uh, pushback, you're not going to get any audio, so I do recommend that you keep the tooltips on for a moment. So release the parking brakes. There we go. Making this my center again. And now I'm just going to use my arrow keys to record it, or to steer it. We'll start steering it to the left. I think I was a little late on that turn. Oh, totally. I think it was a lot of late on that turn. <laughs> That's all right. Didn't account for the offset. Okay, now I'm going to hit the straight button. And then toggle pushback. You see he stops it. I'm going to reset my parking brake. Oh, let me click in the cockpit, sorry. Now I'm going to set my parking brake. You can see he lets go. The pushback is complete. All right, so now let's see how we did. So we're gonna go to auto pushback, play recorded pushback, find our test three here, go to open, and toggle the pushback. Cockpit ground, request received. Let's turn Focus those tooltips off this time. All right, check complete. All doors, hatches are closed and sealed. We are ready to connect, Captain. All right, Captain, toe is connected, bypass pin is inserted, and we are ready to get you out of here. Go ahead and release that parking brake for me. And off we go. All right, commencing pushback, and you may start your engines when ready, Captain. There's the turn. Okay, Captain, your pushback's complete. Set the parking brake for me. Parking brake set. And right where we had it. <clears throat> so anyway, guys, that's the basics to using the pushback recorder. Just remember that if you're not parked when you're using the uh, recorded... Ground to cockpit. Tug is disconnected. Bypass pin has been removed. Have a safe flight. We'll see you next time, Captain. Gosh, overkill. Be quiet. Um, just remember that when you're using the recorded pushback that, again, it's location specific. So even if I was parked over here, had I selected that pushback, it would have moved the aircraft here and then begun the tug. Um, so, but uh, figure out which, uh, which one you guys like best, whether it be the uh, templates or the pushback recording. You, again, you have the manual pushback option as always, but I really think that you guys are going to like this, especially as it continues to develop. It's a really awesome feature, and it's been really a, a great pleasure working with the developer. I even offered to give him a donation, and he said he, he won't take accept any donations. He's doing this just for the enjoyment of the community, so... You know, hats off to you. Links down in the description below, guys. Stand by for future releases. Uh, I know he's got a lot coming. He's going to be adding some volume options to uh, mute the uh, the audio if you choose to do so. 
Um, there's there's a couple more features that are coming our way. Um, we're going to be able to uh, talk to him this morning and uh, about uh, adding a uh, parking brake release button onto it, so that way you can uh, trigger the parking brake through the utility. Um, so it cool stuff coming our way guys cool stuff coming our way so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think down in the description below be sure to hit that like and subscribe button it really does help me out and i will catch you guys in the next one